Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, American Viscountess. But I'm, I don't think I'm really looking like an American Viscountess today, am I? No, because it's Halloween. And today's special guest is my very British husband, <laughs> who you've probably seen on our other channel, Matt Britton Live, where we basically document the ups and downs of our unaristocratic life in that, the manor house. <laughs> that is a good way of putting it. I, I'm not wearing a costume today. No, he's very so not Halloween-y. I, I guess I could mount this chap on my shoulder. Yeah. How does that look? No, Scary? let's put it down. No, okay. This is because we're gonna be talking about the differences between US and UK Halloweens. And as you can see, he's not dressed up. And that really represents a big difference right there. <laughs> because- <laughs> It's true, it's, it's true. When I, when I was growing up, <laughs> Halloween, we didn't have trick or treating. I did go to a dress up party once, aged about eight and it was of a friend of mine who was American and so they had brought in all these kind of scary things and I remember being slightly surprised by that because as a younger child we just we just didn't have Halloween in the same way. Right. But this and was this was quite a long time ago now. But that is a big difference. So for me, the biggest difference when I moved over here over two decades ago was that I was like, what people don't do Halloween the same way as we do in America. It's just not that big of a deal. And I think it's because you have a bigger holiday about five days later called Guy Fawkes. We, we have <laughs> Guy Fawkes and Guy Fawkes is a celebration. I'm not sure that's quite the right word, but it goes back to what's called the gunpowder plot, which was a plot to kill the British King, James I in 1605. And essentially what happened was that uh, there was a plot to restore a Catholic monarch to the throne. Mm -hmm. this, was, this was at a time of great religious and political upheaval and a chap called Guy Fawkes was part of that plot and he was the chap who actually um, gathered, I think it was 30 uh, kegs of gunpowder and placed them in the House of Lords, hid them away, ready to blow up the king and everybody else. Mm -hmm. And he was caught. Um, he was caught because somebody wrote a letter uh, whistleblowing on him. He can't yeah. be very happy with that chap. And then he was sentenced to death. He was going to be hung, drawn and quartered, which is a pretty grisly way to go. Yeah. But lucky for him, he fell off the scaffold and broke his neck before they had a chance oh to, to cut him up. But we celebrate that event every year with what we call Guy Fawkes Day, which is when we create huge bonfires. And usually we have what we call a guy which is, an, which is an effigy. It's a, it's a model that we make of Guy Fawkes and we throw him on the fire as a sort of ritualistic symbol of and, that. Uh, and there's fireworks. Pot. And then most importantly, fireworks. Lots yep. of fireworks, huge displays. And it's one of the sort of wonderful uh, autumn evenings. And that sort of evolved into a, into a much sort of bigger social event for, for people coming together. Yes, so we basically... Do you, not, you, don't, you don't have Guy Fawkes? No, we don't have Guy Fawkes, but as many of you, you know, you I have... love doing royal vlogs. So here's your royal history lesson right there. <laughs> did I, did one I, of the kings, that I, was a brilliant. Did I talk too long? Yeah, do you want to come on my channel again and do some royal vlogs with me? I Maybe. I don't know if I'm Maybe. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so having raised our children here, we've sort of had to combine a lot of British sort of, I guess, holidays. Yeah, no, and... no, but let me interrupt you there because actually what's happened is that the American way of Halloween has taken over. So it is all about dressing up and trick or treating. But most people who get dressed up for Halloween these days in the UK, I think they're still wearing scary stuff. Whereas in America, you wear anything, it's, anything goes. And that is a huge difference. So I am wearing what most Brits would probably wear, sort of black witch, ghoulish zombies, um, ghosts. Whereas in America, you know, when, we, when I was um, dressing our kids when they were younger and we would try to find a place that would have trick or treating, they would go as dinosaurs, um, I remember superheroes, big one, cheerleader. You can dress up in America as but, but anything. But hang on a second, it's Halloween, it's supposed to be scary. Cheerleader's not very scary. No, it's you just were, about being... She was a cheerleader, so she didn't even have to dress up. You just like, 
pulled down the costume. No, it was, you know, that was the big difference. And I remember taking the kids trick or treating, which we're going to get onto in a second, and they wouldn't be in sort of these spooky Dracula outfits. And instead, I would dress my kids up as one year, one of them was actually a duck. A duck. <laughs> I feel really sorry for so, whichever child that was. That is a big difference. If you're difference. watching, I'm, I'm, I'm mortified that mummy dressed you up as a duck. Yeah, Good no, I, I know, sorry. But that is a big difference, is the way that we dress up. And then the other way is, we in America, we tend to really go for it with how we decorate our houses. And here, how you know that somebody's offering something for trick or treat, like you can go to their door, is by putting a pumpkin outside. Literally, when I was taking my kids trick or treating, if somebody didn't have their porch light on and their pumpkin outside, we wouldn't dare go to that house. But nobody had so the decorations so they, like what we have here at Mapperton. What, so they didn't get a trick? Because the trick, of course, when I was growing up and we learned about trick or treating, we'd do some quite mean things. We would have lavatory paper. We would kind of throw it and cover the garden in it. We'd have marshmallows that were kind of sticky that we'd and egging, and you would egg, egging, and that is egging. actually popular. There are some places and regions in America, and the night before it's called Mischief Night, where they throw toilet paper, it's called teeping, they egg the houses. We don't do that here. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to find in England a house that's like so totally decorated. But I think we've done a great job here at Mapperton. We, well, we have for the Mapperton Trail. This is the Halloween trail that is going on here. And you may even hear some children in the background. background. Yeah, because because people, people are now coming around, they're finding things, they're getting treats. Yeah. So hopefully that means that on Halloween itself, we won't get too many kids knocking on the door because they've had so many treats already. Well, and speaking of treats, so another big difference is, like I said, is trying to find the house to go to. So when my kids were younger, our kids were younger, we basically were told where in London to go where people would have different, um, different treats. But the candy was different. You don't have candy corn. That's one of our big candy things, corn. candy corn. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I know what candy corn is, but it sounds delicious. If anybody wants to send me some candy corn, I think I'd, I'd the like The treats that. are just really different over here. You put a lot of orange in your chocolate, things we, like that. Yeah. But we candy corn, it was really hard for me to find that candy corn I, I was reading a statistic here. though, which is that a quarter of all candy in the year is sold at Halloween. Did you know that? No. I don't know whether that's true in the UK, but it's true here. And they don't really call it candy, you call it sweets. We call it that's sweets. That's the other thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, so those are kind of, I would say, the big differences. But it is exciting because Halloween is getting more popular here. It, it certainly is, as evidenced by the number of people coming here to, uh, to enjoy, gonna... enjoy the trail. Enjoy the trail. <laughs> and, so and... do, um, you know, that is, and it's kind of exciting. I do feel that one of the things that I've done since um, uh, we sort of took over Matt Britton was to put a little bit of my Americanism onto this place. And one of them is the Halloween trail. We only started it a few years ago when... Well, not, not least, you make a great witch. So, uh, <laughs> so kudos so to So, one of the things I have brought to Mapperton, I do think, is the Halloween trail. Well, you, but, you, you definitely have. And I think, having said all of that, Julie, looking at the excitement of the children, you're going to have to stay here as a witch I know. for the rest of the day. Do you think I should go out and scare people? Well, I think, or should I just be nice I and put my cheerleading costume scary. on? Maybe, maybe put one of these heads on your shoulder. But maybe I should put my cheerleading costume on so not to scare the people and let everybody know that actually in America, yeah, some people I, I, dress as they, witches. They, they, they won't get the cheerleading thing. But they won't get the cheerleading I, I think, thing? I think, I think the way you are is, is much better. Yeah. yeah. So those are, I think for us, the biggest differences. Um, I found in Halloween, but it's represented perfectly right here. <laughs> but um, but do do suggest do suggest other things that we've missed, both our American audience and our UK audience, or rather Judy's audience. Um, I'm sure you've got things yeah. that are specific to you. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been really fun thinking about all these. Um, variations. Yeah, definitely. So do comment down below because we just wanted to give you what we've experienced as sort of being married and our differences, but do comment down below and let us know what you see as your differences um, in between UK and US Halloweens. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, and most importantly, turn notifications on. And lastly, if you've made it this far, do check out the Mapperton Live uh, very spooky, frightening, I screamed um, for my life episode that's uh, coming out as well. 
Bye, everybody.